Hi there, YTPC. This is Izzy, the Happy Go Lucky Piper, coming to you Monday evening, 6 o'clock. It's a nice bright evening, bright evening in my yard. I hope the lighting is okay. Tonight, or this afternoon, I'm doing a VR to Gribbley's Folly. In honor of Gribbley, I'm smoking a corn cob with a filter. I'm not sure if it's the legend. I think it is. Please forgive me if I'm wrong. Inside my cob, I have some Peter Stockerby Deluxe Navy Flake, which has really become a favorite of mine, with a delicious coffee. And some delicious cheesecake. It doesn't really get much better than that, guys. I have been watching Gribbley's videos for a very, very long time, and I'm very, very fond of them, especially when he does his anti social hour. Lechaim, Lechaim. Um, those, of, those of you who don't know, he is probably the vice mayor of the YTPC or the, or the shadow mayor as he calls himself. He has a great, great channel. Very interesting fellow. So, Gribbly is a photographer. And he was discussing different mishaps happen at weddings. He told a tale about a Jewish wedding. I'm not going to give over the whole story because I think it wouldn't be fair. And Gribbley posed the question. I'm not sure if it was hashtag ask Happy Go Lucky Piper, but nonetheless, I wanted to share some light on this. I thought, I thought this might be appropriate. Sometimes, in my position, I officiate at weddings. So he was saying at Jewish weddings, wine is drunk and a glass is broken. Well, the reason for breaking the glass, this is really the question he asked. And this is a very, very interesting tradition that goes back, I would say, over a few thousand years. King David, the psalmist, says, I will remember Jerusalem at the time of my rejoicing. And this is interpreted to mean that when we make a wedding, we make a celebration, we are meant to remember that over 2,000 years ago, Jerusalem was destroyed and the temple went up in flames. So whenever we are happy, there's always meant to be some kind of sadness. And this is really the reason of breaking the glass um, at the wedding. That's one of the reasons. Generally what happens when the glass is broken, everybody screams Mazal Tov, which is good luck. And there are many rabbis and scholars that say this is really not appropriate time to scream good luck, because it's a sad moment. And there's a verse in Psalms which we talk about that if I forget Jerusalem, my right hand will lose its strength, and my tongue will be parched dry. I will remember Jerusalem I will lift up Jerusalem at the time of my rejoicing. So the glass is broken as a sign of sadness. Also in the Jewish traditions, as you probably know, there's many, many different customs. Um, there's also a custom that before the wedding ceremony and at the engagement, the both mothers break a plate. And the girls are very, the girls are friends of the bride. The bride's girlfriends very much like to collect these pieces of plates broken plates, and these are considered to be like lucky charms. And the reason for breaking the plate, which is, very, which is very similar to breaking the glass, a similar idea, is we find in the Bible, when God made a covenant with Abraham, um, a covenant in Hebrew is called to cut a covenant, 
like the circumcision, which is a cutting of the foreskin. Um, in Bible times, when people and friends would make a covenant, um, the animal would be taken and cut in half. The idea being, is since the animal now is dead, it can no, no longer can be returned to life. It's like making an agreement which you cannot break. Like the good old days when armies would invade countries and they'll burn their boats and the soldiers would realize there's no going home. So before the wedding, the mothers break a plate and this symbolizes um, a connection, a commitment. And even if the pieces are put together again, the plate will never be the same. In my community, the tradition we have is the rabbi that officiates on the ceremony, uses a glass of wine, and that glass of wine is given to the bride and groom to drink from it. And that actual glass is broken to symbolize a sealing, as well as remembering Jerusalem, it's a sealing of the commitment of the love for, for each other. Um, Ghibli's story wasn't really, well, Ghibli's story is about, about his wedding experience, the Jewish wedding experience, wasn't really what I expected he was going to say. I've heard stories from fellow rabbis and friends that we always tell the groom when he break the glass, as Ghibli mentioned, the glass is wrapped up, so the groom, sh the groom shouldn't, have, shouldn't hurt himself with a broken piece of glass. We always tell the groom to break the glass with a heel. Sometimes what happens is the groom gets so excited he breaks the glass with the, the front part of his foot, with the sole of his foot. And I've heard of occasions from friends of the groom that broke the glass, the glass went into his foot. And so going to the wedding celebrations, he was rushed off with his bride to the ER, which is very, very fun. So we always tell the groom, we always wrap the glass up so no one should get hurt. And we always remind the groom to break the glass with the heel. So Gribbly, I hope I've shared, shared a little bit of light on your question. You have a very exciting job. Anyway, things are getting a bit noisy over here, as you can hear in the background. I think somebody's woken up. So I'm going to say bye-bye, everybody. All the best. Shalom. It's easy, happy, go lucky, piper, checking out. God bless you all.